Next, we will going to learn um, how to go about creating an unordered and creating an ordered list in HTML. So for that purpose, we will going to create a new paragraph right here. This is where I would like to list all the list items. Well, I would like to follow the same trend as we did before. We'll do an HR to start a new row. Let me scroll down a little bit on this page so that you can see this code a little bit more clearly. So I have an HR over here to create a new horizontal row. I would like to create an H3 over here um, that will be um, a replica of the H3 that I did up here. In fact, let me uh, copy paste so that I don't have to type this over again. So this would allow me to create another heading and I'm gonna call this one uh, sports I like and now inside this paragraph I will going to use a tag called OL which stands for ordered list so this allows me to create an item list item so I have an opening and closing OL tag and then to create each list item we use LI so we have an opening and closing li. If I would like to list four sports, I would like to just copy paste this. This is going to help me save some time. So let's say if I like soccer, I like golf, if I like tennis, and let's say I like cricket. So these are the, let's say the four games that I like. So I've placed all of them in an ordered list. So now I go under Run, Launch in Firefox. Now notice here we have the list of four items, one, two, three, and four. This allows me to get an ordered list. Now similarly, I can get an unordered list. All I need to do is use a different tag, which is called a UL tag. So to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna just take all of this code and I'm gonna copy it and paste it. So and I'm going to just make some changes over here. So I'm going to call this one um, grocery list. And I'm going to replace the UL, uh, OL with UL, which stands for unordered list. The main difference between ordered and unordered list is the ordered list will going to give you one, two, three, four, some kind of a sequence. An unordered list will not going to give you any sequence. It's just bunch of bullet items so let's say if I put in here eggs bread butter and milk now let's run this one launch in, in Firefox now notice the difference here I have two lists the grocery list eggs bread butter milk and I have the sports I like list which is my ordered lists now it is quite possible for you to learn how to do the nesting of the lists, also how to change the style of the list because you can always change the list style. By default, uh, for your unordered lists, you will going to see this bullet-like symbol and for your ordered list, you're gonna see one, two, three, four. However, there are ways that we will going to learn in the next set of tutorial where we will be learning actually how you go about changing the properties and what is a property and things like that for any of the tags we will actually going to encounter that over there and then we're also going to um, do a tutorial where we do the nested list which is a combination of more than one list items um, that's all for this particular tutorial hope you would have enjoyed it and learn how to create an unordered list and an ordered list thank you for watching